So in this question, we are reacting aspirin with sodium hydroxide in our initial reacting equation. And the excess sodium hydroxide, so that's the stuff that was left over, is reacting in a second equation with our sulfuric acid. So this is an example of a back titration. The question wants us to calculate the average mass of the tablets that we or the average mass, sorry, of the aspirin found in the tablets. So to do that, we would need to work out the mass of aspirin that reacted over the number of tablets, which in this question is given as three. So to finish this equation, we would need to calculate the mass. Mass is equal to number of moles times the GFM, and the GFM of aspirin is given as 180 grams. So for us to work out the number of moles, we need to do our mole ratio. So from our balanced equation, we can see that one mole of aspirin reacts with two moles of our sodium hydroxide. And in the second equation, two moles of sodium hydroxide would react with two, uh, one mole of our sulfuric acid. So to work out the number of moles of this, we need to calculate the number of moles of this, which means we need to work out the number of moles of this and the number of moles of this. So here we're going to calculate the number of moles of sulfuric acid that reacted. Now, if you read the question backwards, that should be the first piece of information. The concentration of our sulfuric acid is 0.05. We would times that by the average titer that was given, which was 15.2 divided by 1000. So when I pop that into my calculator, 15.2 divided by 1000 and times that by 0.05, that gives me 7.6 times 10 to the minus 4 moles of my sulfuric acid that had actually reacted. So we're going to put that underneath here and we are going to scale across. So we need to cross multiply. So multiply that by 2, then divide by 1. And that gives us 1.52 times 10 to the minus 3 moles that had reacted. Now, what we can see is that we had 25 centimetres cubed of our sodium hydroxide, which had reacted with our sulfuric acid. So what we need to do is we need to proportionalise that. 1.52 times 10 to the minus 3 moles was found in 25 centimetres cubed. We need to scale for the total standard flask where all of the aspirin tablets had been dissolved in. The size of that flask is 250 centimetres cubed. And what we're going to do is we are going to cross multiply. So we times that by 250, then divide by 25. That gives us 0 0.0152. That is the number of moles of excess sodium hydroxide that we actually have. Now, for us to be able to put in our reacting sodium hydroxide for our initial reaction, we need to see how many moles we had actually started with of our sodium hydroxide because we would have initial, we would take away the excess and that would leave us with how many moles had actually reacted in equation one. So the number of moles is equal to C times V. The concentration of the original sodium hydroxide solution was one times by 25 divided by a thousand to pop it into liters. So we've got 25 divided by 1000, answer times one. And that gives me my initial number of moles is 0 0.025. So 0 0.025 take away my excess 0 0.0152 gives me 9.8 times 10 to the minus 3 that's the number of moles that have actually reacted i put this underneath my mole ratio 9.8 times 10 to the minus 3 and i need to cross multiply to scale for my number of moles of aspirin so i times by one then divide by 2. That gives me 4.9 times 10 to the minus 3 moles that had actually reacted. I can substitute this in to this part of the equation. 
So I'll times that by the GFM, which is 180. And that will give me 0 0.882. That is the mass of my um, aspirin that had been in there. The question wants me to work out the average mass. So I can substitute that value into this final equation. Divide by 3. And that tells me that my average mass of aspirin per tablet is 0 0.294 grams.